Those of you all who have been watching my channel the past few years, you've probably noticed that I changed my desk setup every like year to a year and a half. One reason is just because I get bored and sometimes want to change the aesthetic, add to my desk setup, remove stuff from my desk setup that I don't necessarily need. And in the beginning, I was just learning with the combination of being cheap. And now I feel like I kind of know what is good for my setup, what isn't good, what adds to the aesthetic, what's unnecessary, all those things. My last setup, I actually did enjoy. It was very minimal. It was like that white theme that you see on Instagram. And I had the nano leaf elements in the back. But you've also probably noticed that I actually really didn't make a dedicated video for that desk setup. And the main reason is because I thought it was kind of boring and it didn't really reflect my personality. I was really heavily influenced by Instagram and having a really clean, minimal aesthetic for my desk setup, but that didn't really reflect who I am as a person. And it didn't really spark joy or make me feel like I put my own personal touch and creativity into my setup. To make a long story short, I'm really pleased with my new desk setup. It's been a journey. I wanna thank Ergen Office for sending over the core essentials for my new desk setup. So this setup is my favorite setup. It's not perfect, at least to my liking, and that's just because it's along just one wall opposed to being in a corner, which I plan it to be in a corner in our next apartment that we're gonna to move to, God willing, in a few months. But anyways, I love this setup because it's a combination of my two previous setups where I have the wood and white theme, the maple wood countertop, the white drawer with a maple wood finish or accents as well, along with having a floating shelf with pictures that are meaningful to me. Got the nano leaf elements for the Instagram reels, bangers, plants, and some books, of course. One thing I didn't want to deviate from too much was having a stand-up desk. I decided to go with the maple solid wood sway desk from Ergen Office. And let me tell you, this is as premium as it gets when it comes to desks. And I'm extremely grateful that they sent over this standing desk. I love how well the sway desk sleek design and elegant wooden finishes fits within our living space. There's no doubt this is my favorite part of our home. And I love how it just seamlessly integrates into the flow of our home. One thing that I appreciate about this desk is how responsive the inlay touchscreen control pad is, along with the fact that it's embedded inside the desk, which makes the desk feel more minimal and sleek. The Sway desk can hold up to 300 pounds. Lifting capacity was extremely easy to set up. I actually installed it with no help and it's height adjustable from 22.7 inches to 48.7 inches. The size I decided to go with for this desk is 30 inches by 60 inches. I decided to go with the U2 ergonomic chair with an ash frame color and smoke sandstone fabric. This is definitely the most comfortable chair that I've owned. I thought that I would miss the headset from my previous chair, but I don't miss it at all. And a big part of that is that this chair is really comfortable with elastometric back mesh and has excellent back support. The ergonomic configuration of my chair includes a seat slider and back height adjustment. So I decided to replace my fully Jarvis laptop arm that kind of floated in the air with this fold laptop stand. One of the reasons is because this desk is a little bit larger. So I had a little bit more real estate to work with and the fold laptop stand just looks really good with this setup with that maple wood finish. It's really easy to adjust the laptop stand. And honestly, I love the shape and just looking at it, it blends perfectly with my setup. I also decided to go with the Ergonosis desk shelf, which is also made with that premium solid wood. It also has this nice soft touch laminate. I love how desk shelves just elevate the experience by elevating your monitor. And in this case, it almost looks like my monitor is floating. I have to admit, I was kind of dragging my feet on adding things to my wall outside of my nano leaf elements. And now I just look at any desk setup content I did without this new wall shelf from Ikea, specifically the LAC wall shelf with the oak finish. I just don't like 
having a desk set up without floating shelves. For one, it's hard to add things that are part of my story, part of my personality without a floating shelf. One thing I love about this floating shelf is how thick the wood, I'm gonna put this in quotes, wood is. And it's also wide enough where I can add multiple plants, I have some books, and I have this really beautiful picture that I purchased in Soho from a gallery of New York City. You can see Empire State Building. I'm not gonna spend too much time on my monitor and some of the other peripherals and my desk setup because this monitor for one is in every desk setup I've done outside of that student desk setup I did about a year ago. Also, I have a dedicated video to this monitor, but this is the 34 inch Ergo monitor from LG. I really love this monitor. The only thing I wish is that it was a bit more brighter. So I'm definitely looking to upgrade, but monitors are really expensive and there's really hasn't been any monitors that have really moved me. I'm just waiting on that 32 inch Apple studio display. This 16 inch M1 Pro laptop has 16 gigs of RAM and also has 512 gigabytes of storage, which is enough for me because let's be real, if you guys have been following me the past few years, I never keep the same laptop for more than like a year and a half or two years at the absolute most. And I have a let's see external hard drive anyways to store most of my content. I added a few fake plants and I got some real plants to my desk setup just because it adds some life to my desk. It adds a nice pop of color. I think plants contrast well with like any sort of wood finish, but especially these maple wood finishes for my desk shelf, the floating shelf, the nano leaf elements, my desk, the cabinets. I think that dark green from some of the fake plants and real plants just contrasts well. One thing that was definitely missing in my previous desk setup, which made it kind of fall flat and be a bit less functional and cluttered a lot, was not having any sort of drawer or filing cabinet. So the filing cabinet that I have is the Ergonoffice Neat Filing Cabinet with a white cabinet color and a maple wood finish for the front panels. This is premium, I'm not gonna lie. By far the best filing cabinet I've ever had. It's a great storage solution for your workspace, built with solid wood, just another premium product that also fills in my desk space. In the past, I always went with a lighter colored felt material desk mat, but I recently upgraded to this Ergonoffice leather desk pad in the hazelnut colorway. This handcrafted full grain leather desk pad is definitely the dark horse to my desk setup upgrades. The material feels so good on my forearms, and I also found that utilizing my mouse on this leather desk pad not only feels more comfortable, but also is a much smoother experience as I glide across my displays. A few other accessories that make my setup that much more functional and fills in my setup are the Grove Made iPhone dock that blends well, even though it's more of a walnut finish. You can definitely get this wood mag safe charger in maple and the Grove made wood headphone stand, which looks absolutely beautiful and stands out with that maple finish. Another Grove made accessory is this small maple wood planter that you see sitting next to my stack of books in that maple colorway as well. One of my favorite things about my desk setup is this cable management solution from Ergonopsis. One thing I always recommend is to make sure that you go with a cable management solution with the same brand that you actually got your desk set up from. And with this cable management solution, it has this little section for the power bar. That way I can hide my cables behind the cable management solution, also hide the power bar in that little section in between my standing desk and the cable management solution. My keyboard of choice is a Logitech MX Keys Mechanical. I've been absolutely loving the typing experience of this mechanical keyboard. This keyboard is configured with a tactile quiet configuration. Choice of mouse is the MX Master 3S in the graphite colorway. I've been considering going with a lighter color, but I'm happy with the darker color for now. I have a dedicated video for these two devices and plan on making a more in-depth review of the MX Keys Mechanical. 
Last but not least, my Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers that my wife gifted me a few years ago and have been an incredible upgrade for my audio experience, which is something I definitely recommend not to overlook. I've been considering upgrading from these to larger speakers, so if you could recommend some speakers in the comment section, that will be greatly appreciated. With all that said, that wraps up this desk setup video, and as always, have a blessed rest of your week. I'll see you all soon. Peace. Thank you.